Sri Venkateshwara Agricultural College Tirupati was established during the year 1961 as the third agricultural college in the state to cater to the educational needs in the field of agriculture. The college was originally affiliated to Sri Venkateshwara University and later transferred to the fold of Acharya Njiranga Agricultural University in the year 1964. The college is located at the foot of the sacred Tirumala Hills in an area sprawling over 360 acres in a serene rural setting which is quite refreshing and splendid. Establishment of Agricultural College at Tirupati is a landmark in the history of agricultural education in Andhra Pradesh. Sri Nukala Ramachandra Reddy, the then Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Government of AP, laid the foundation stone on 27th October 1961. Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanams donated rupees 4 lakh for this specific purpose and Sri Ramakrishna Raju, a businessman and philanthropist from Bombay, donated another rupees 2 lakhs. Sri C. Krishnamurti took charge as principal in May 1962 and joined by other teachers later in July 1962 to impart teaching in all these subjects. The college building was formally inaugurated on 28th December 1968 by Sri V. V. Giri Garu, the then Vice President of India. The second hostel was inaugurated by Sri K. Brahmananda Reddy Garu, the then Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. Residential accommodation was also strengthened by constructing four hostels in the campus, that is three for boys and one for girls. Agricultural business management was started in the year 2008. Now it is upgraded to Institute of Agri Business Management. The mandate of this institute is to train the agricultural personnel needed for the improvement of the agriculture in the AP. The college has well established with modern classrooms, laboratories, and library facilities to prepare the students to meet the challenges at the national and global agricultural scenario. So far, 3,790 agricultural BSc, AG and uh, 1,217 MSc agriculture, 28 uh, business management students and 96 PhD students obtained their degrees from this college. At present, we have 529 BSc Agriculture, 80 MSc Agriculture and 67 PhD students from several states of the India and Southeastern Asian countries. Apart from education, we are providing excellent amenities for personality development of students through sports activities, NCC, NSS and yoga campaigns. Several gold medals are also instituted to meritorious students of this college to encourage their talents. The modern medical facilities were created to safeguard the health of the students, staff members and the farm workers in the campus. Several programs are being conducted to explore innovation among the students. The staff of this college are also highly competitive in teaching methods and possess national projects with international exposure. The college is also publishing a national agricultural research journal named as 
Andhra Pradesh Journal of Agricultural Sciences under the Society of Agricultural Scientists. Agronomy. The Department of Agronomy is the biggest discipline which was formed as an integral part in the Faculty of Agriculture since the inception of the college in 1961. The department offers eight courses to undergraduate students. The students are also given opportunities to participate in all the farm operations for understanding the principles of crop production by way of allotting individual plots for cultivation of various field crops. Finally, your BSc AG students are practically guided in various aspects of crop production under field conditions during RAVE program and imparting hands-on practical knowledge during the Agricultural Experiential Learning Program AELP. Postgraduate program in agronomy was started in 1971 and PhD program in 1993. So far, 258 and 28 students were awarded the degrees of MSc AG and PhD in Agronomy respectively. The department has done considerable PG research work which is useful to the farming community of the region. Instrumentation room is being maintained with leaf area meter, root scanner, pressure plate apparatus, rice polisher, rice husker, all quads, double distillation unit, reverse osmosis unit of five stage purification, double distillation unit for distilled water and seed counter. The department is maintaining a B-class meteorological observatory wherein the daily data is being recorded on temperature, rainfall, evaporation and wind direction and velocity. College Farm the College Farm was established in 1961 as an integral part of the SV Agricultural College, Tirupati. Total area of the College Farm is 75 acres, of which the dry land is 49.15 acres and wetland is 26.55 acres. The College Farm is mainly an instructional farm to cater to the needs of UG students and research needs of PG students and faculty members. Crop Museum is maintained during Karif and Rabi seasons, showcasing the predominant crops grown in the zone like paddy, groundnut, castor, red gram, green gram, pearl millet, and finger millet. Individual student plots are maintained in the college farm. The college farm also meets the seed requirements of farming community by supplying improved varieties of paddy, red gram, and groundnut. Department of Genetics and Plant Breeding In this college, the Department of Genetics and Plant Breeding was started in 1978. MSc AG program was started in 1982 and PhD program in 1994 and so far 142 MSc AG students and 38 PhD students have got their degrees. The student's research work is also carried out with the collaboration of the scientists of other institutions like IIOR and ICRSAT. The department is associated with the release of popular rice variety Samba Masuri and Sunflower Hybrid APSH11. The department has laboratory facilities for undergraduate program as well as for postgraduate program. Department of Soil Science and Agricultural Chemistry Department of Soil Science and Agricultural Chemistry was started in the year 1961. The PG program was started in the year 1984. So far, 89 students have graduated. The PhD program was started in the academic year 2009-10 and so far 3 students have completed the PhD program. The department has a well-equipped laboratory with sophisticated instruments Department of Soil Science and Agricultural Chemistry have remote sensing GIS laboratory to meet the research work of students. The scientific chapters namely Indian Society of Soil Science, New Delhi and Indian Society of Soil Survey and Land Use Planning, Nagpur are functioning in the department. Crop Physiology 
separate department of plant physiology, rechristened as crop physiology, was carved out from the agricultural botany in the year 1965. Since then, the department has grown considerably. Post-graduation in plant physiology was initiated in the year 1986-87 and later on PhD program was also started in the year 2010-11. So far, 66 MSc AG students and two PhD students were passed out from the department. The department maintains a well-equipped laboratory catering the needs of other departments also. A separate new PG laboratory was established in the year 2013. Further, the development also has a well-maintained greenhouse facility for crop research. Department of Horticulture Department of Horticulture was started during the year 1963-64. Postgraduate program was started during 1968, recognizing the needs of horticulture in the region. At present, the department offers five undergraduate courses and eight PG courses. The number of students awarded MSc AG degree were 148. Horticulture Garden the college also maintains a separate orchard for instructional purpose and also for conducting staff and student research in the Department of Horticulture. A mist chamber for propagation of ornamental plants and a small processing laboratory were established. The orchards possess rich germplasm of mango, guava, burr, custard apple, falsa, etc. Entomology the Department of Entomology came into existence in the year 1962 with the inception of the college. The department is involved in implementing the RAVE program and crop protection technology courses to BSc AG final year students to gain practical farm work experience for understanding the problems of crop protection. A unit of commercial entomology is also maintaining the department for the AELP students of final year BSc AG. The department at present offers five courses with a credit load of 13 credits for BSc AG students. Postgraduate program in entomology was started in 1982. The department offers nine courses with a credit load of 20 for the MSc AG students. The PhD program in entomology was initiated in the department during the year 2009. So far, 137 students were awarded the MSc AG degree in entomology. Seminar Hall was established at the department with modern facilities. Plant Pathology The Department of Plant Pathology was established in September 1964, combined with the Department of Entomology. Later, it was separated as Individual Department of Plant Pathology in March 1967. The department is offering undergraduate and postgraduate courses for the students enrolled in this university to enrich the students of agriculture about plant diseases of various crops, their symptoms and integrated plant disease management aspects.
The postgraduate program in plant pathology to MSc AZ degree was started in the year 1970-71. At present, the department is offering six undergraduate courses along with Agricultural Experiential Learning Program, AELP, specializing in mushroom cultivation. The department is also offering eight postgraduate courses. The department developed most effective and economical method for the control of late leaf spot of groundnut. Tested bioactivity of newly designed organophosphorus compounds against whips mutt of sugarcane. Identified potential biocontrol agents for Trichoderma species, Brevendimonas blata, Bacillus thuringiensis, Bacillus subtilis, and Pseudomonas aeruginosa against mango and rachnose. Talc-based formulations of potential biocontrol agents have been developed against mango anthracnose, stem rot of groundnut, late leaf of groundnut and dry root in chickpea. In the days of information technology and the communication, so Ashari Ajiranga University has developed one mobile app, namely Grishma. So the mobile app intends to identify the various diseases that are caused in uh, major crops that are uh, grown in Andhra Pradesh, such as uh, paddy, groundnut, and uh, commercial crops like sugarcane, and also uh, sunflower, maize, like that. So in those crops, the disease symptoms, how they are being caused, and uh, what are the different management practices that are to be taken for the management of these uh, kind of diseases during various stages of crop growth. Department of Agricultural Engineering The Department of Agricultural Engineering came into existence in the year 1963. The department offers four courses to the BSc AG students. In addition to the teaching, the department is also looking after the transport, water supply and maintenance of electricity of the college and hostels. The department is also responsible for the construction of check dams, percolation tanks, sunken ponds, gabin structure, rock fill dam, check wall in the college premises. Agricultural Economics The Department of Agricultural Economics came into being during 1964. PG program was initiated in the department during 1984 and doctoral program in 2009. The department offers five courses for undergraduates, ten courses to MSEAG students and eight courses to PhD students. The teachers of the department have published two textbooks on agricultural finance and management and agricultural economics by Oxford IBH publishers, which are being referred by the students of all agricultural universities in the country. The trust areas of PG research relate to areas of farm management, livestock economics, project evaluation, optimal use of water resource, agricultural marketing, international trade and price forecasting, etc. Staff research addresses the issues pertaining to agro-industries, research economics, credit, agricultural marketing, etc. The teachers of the department have published about 158 research papers in various journals of repute. Department of Statistics and Mathematics the Department of Statistics in Mathematics was established in the year 1978. The department is offering undergraduate and postgraduate courses for the students enrolled in this college. The postgraduate program in Agricultural Statistics was started in the year 2010. At present, the department is offering three courses for undergraduate, 20 courses for MSc Agricultural Statistics students, besides six service courses for postgraduate and PhD students of different departments to meet their needs in application of statistical techniques in their respective research. The department also renders consultancy services to the PG and PhD students of Agricultural, 
veterinary and agricultural engineering students in planning and analysis of their research work. The college has well-developed computer lab attached to the Department of Statistics in Mathematics which is utilized by UG, PG and research students. Internet facility is also provided in the lab. The computer lab is of great help to the students in pursuing higher studies and research. Students are trained in computer applications from UG level. Department of Agricultural Extension the Department of Agricultural Extension was started in the year 1966, erstwhile in Andhra Pradesh Agricultural University. The MSc program in the Agricultural Extension Department was started during the year 1976. So far, 130 MSc AG students obtained their master's degree in Agricultural Extension. The doctoral program in Agricultural Extension was started during the year 2008. So far, four students obtained their doctoral degree from the department. At present, five PhD students and nine MSc AG students, including one MSc AG international student, are on rolls. The staff of the department is also maintaining information center, conference hall, and museum of the college. The thrust areas of PG research include adoption and diffusion, impact studies, gender sensitization, women empowerment, entrepreneurship development, validation of ITKs, evaluation of ongoing development programs, etc. The department is also operating one ICAR extramural research project on ICT utilization in agricultural education gap analysis. The extension activities mainly include training programs to the farmers and extension personnel in production technologies, village adoption program, conduct of meetings, seminars, conferences, college activities, functions, etc. Academic cell. A separate undergraduate academic section functions in the college under a senior teacher who acts as an academic advisor. The GPA reports are computerized and data bank of the students is maintained in this section. The section is a source of students' biodata for the recruiting agencies. It also takes the responsibility of conducting various competitive examinations in the college as assigned by the government organizations from time to time. The academic matters of the PG students are separately handled by the academic advisor who is a senior professor. Various functions monitored by the cell include monitoring, registration, course allotment, preparation of timetable, arranging colloquium, conducting qualifying exams, final wipe, etc. Rave program, which Acharya NG Ranga Agriculture University for the first time in the country introduced the Rural Agricultural Work Experience Program as one of its innovative programs during the year 1979-80 to impart practical field training in agriculture to the students of the final year BSc AG. Under this program, every student is expected to work for one semester with the farmers in the village within the vicinity of research stations or data centers of the university. Placement Cell Students' counseling and placement cell was established in the college during the year 1996 to provide employment opportunities to the students. Books on current affairs, journals, magazines on general knowledge are made available to the students to write competitive exams. The placement cell is kept under the charge of senior faculty member to guide, advise and train the students in the building up to their career. It also maintains the brief resumes of the outgoing students and provides them to the organizations and companies based on their requirements. Besides this, guest lectures on personality development by eminent persons are also arranged for the benefit of the students. Library Services The regional library had a humble beginning and over the years its growth has been phenomenal and transformed from book-only library to a modern digital library with invaluable collection of e-resources to cater to the increasing information requirements of the stakeholders. Books, periodicals, theses are added to the library every year. Presently, 
the library is equipped with 21,479 books, 7,022 back volumes of journals, 338 reports, 3,935 theses, 1,177 DVDs and ROMs. Health Center The campus health center is working with medical office and supporting staff. It not only takes care of the health of the students and staff of the campus, but also teaches them meditation and yoga. It is equipped with beds for patients. An ambulance is also provided to meet the emergencies. Sports and Games The college has very good facilities for sports and games which include a multi-purpose playground, indoor games, 16th station multi-gym, etc. Tournaments are arranged frequently for the students. They will be participating in intercollegiate, interclass sports and games every year. Both boys and girls have won shields and prizes in all India sports and games meet conducted by various agricultural universities of the country. Hostel facilities. The boys comprising of three hostel buildings, Mithila, Dwarka and Sabarmati can accommodate about 300 boarders. The postgraduate students are given individual rooms in PG hostel and three UG students share each room in the UG Hostel Sabarmati. All the rooms are sufficiently furnished and all the hostels are having common room with TV, reading room and telephone facilities. This institute has a separate hostel for girls consisting of four blocks to accommodate about 300 girl students. The facilities available in the hostel include indoor and outdoor games gymnasium and computers. Yoga and meditation classes are arranged for the benefit of the students. Guest House College consists of well-furnished guest house Swarnamukhi, which has two VIP suites and ten AC rooms. National Service Scheme Program. The NSS unit of the college organized guest lectures, campaigns, tree plantation, and other social service activities on different occasions, like Nutrition Awareness Week, International Yoga Day, Sat Bhavana Divas, International Literacy Day. International Day of Nonviolence, National Unity Day, International Women's Day, and other important days of national and international importance. NSS special camps are conducted with the final BSc AG students at Adopted Village every year, and programs like cleaning the premises, awareness campaign on sanitation, eye camps, veterinary camps, ride to Sadasu, guest lectures for personality development of students, yoga, field visits, etc. are being organized. NCC National Cadet Corps was started in the year 1963 with a cadet strength of an infantry platoon of 50 cadets in affiliation with 29 Andhra Battalion NCC Tirupati. The NCC unit organizes the institutional and camp training programs regularly. Some of the cadets distinguish themselves by bagging national awards. Every year, 50 cadets are enrolled. Dr. P. Kartik Reddy, NCC officer in charge of the college, have attended NCC pre-commissioned course of 90 days at Officers Training Academy, Kamti, Nagpur. Village Adoption Program the college with the coordination of all the departments is successfully carrying out village adoption program for the last 17 years. So far, the program was organized in six villages. The scientist team of the college visits the adopted village every Saturday. 
the adopted village is serving as social laboratory for the students of the college. The activities like database development, technology assessment and refinement, field diagnostic visits, and training programs were undertaken. Adoption of the recommended technologies and own seed multiplication are encouraged. With the implementation of the program, additional employment was created to the small and marginal farmers and agricultural laborers, and coverage of HYVs and crop intensity increased. Achievements An educational institute is to be judged in the final reckoning not by its imposing buildings, not by its furnished classrooms and well-equipped laboratories, not by its huge libraries, not even by the distinguished members of its faculty, but by the quality of its product, namely, the alumni. Judged by this criterion, our college perhaps feels reasonably proud of its alumni who achieved distinction in various fields, both within the country and outside. The academic performance of our students is the best, which is vindicated by the number of GRFs, admissions for the PG studies obtained by them at the national level. Some of our faculty members got meritorious awards in the fields of agriculture, like Innovation Potential Award, Crop Research Award, Best Teacher Award, etc. at state and national level and Jawaharlal Nehru Awards for the Best PhD Theses from ICAR. Many faculty members attended several national and international trainings, workshops, seminars, symposia, etc. In essence, it can be said that the significant achievement of this college is development of the needed technical manpower to benefit the farmers of Royal Sima region of Andhra Pradesh in particular and the farmers of the state and the country in general.